guys so I wanted to take a minute you'll have to pardon me I'm feeling under the weather so I sound a little off and froggy um, we have talked about the effects of bad circulation um, and uh, air trappage when you have a PC and we've also talked in the past about the effect that smoking has in an enclosed area on your PC. But I've never actually taken photos or a video of exactly what happens inside the system to in a house that smokes. So I decided to take a minute and I'll show you. This is a system a customer brought in for repair. Um, the, the unit itself, the video has gone out on it as well as uh, problems with random reboots due to overheating. And if we take it apart, this is from a smoking home. As I open it here, you'll be able to see <laughs> that this is the effect that you get in a smoking household um, where they smoke indoors. There's already bad circulation to the machine as it is where it's placed, but in this instance, um, the person's a heavy smoker in an enclosed area, a room, and you can see the buildup all through here. Um, what happens is standard dust collects inside these machines, just like any computer. The problem with the smoking household though, is that the tar and nicotine actually attach themselves to the dust molecules, and those components are sticky. So the tar and nicotine actually work as a magnet and they actually draw more dust in and it collects and it all gets stickier and stickier as the buildup at that point um, increases exponentially. So you can see, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty nasty effect that it has on the in inside of the system. And just the discoloration itself um, is pretty severe. So inside the unit, you'll see the central processing unit. Your CPU down here is underneath this heat sink. And uh, this right here is the fan that's supposed to uh, cool off the, the customer's processor. The problem we're having here is the fan itself is so occluded, you can see here, it's obstructed by all of this gunk um, built up from the tar and nicotine. So the fan has lost the ability to spin properly, which causes the system to overheat. Um, and if you just look here, you can see the effects of this are everywhere. So even the X uh, right here, you can see this is a, let me zoom in, this port here, these vents are where the fan blows out in the power supply. So all of this is obstructing airflow inside the power supply as well, which causes massive heat buildup. Down here, the video card, you can't see the, the base of it, but there's a thick lining of it coating the top of the video card. And you'll notice here that it's built up, and that's what's caused the, the actual video card itself to fry. So the only thing that works is onboard video on the motherboard itself right now. So the video card is toast. We're going to have to get rid of it. Um, and uh, the customer wants to just work with onboard video from here on out. You'll notice though the fan, uh, because of the obstruction and mess there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna attempt to clean the fan. Uh, customer wants to keep this as low cost as possible. So we'll tr attempt to clean the fan, make sure that it's all cleaned up and, and prepped. And if there isn't any problems with spinning from that point forward, then we'll go with it. But if there is, um, if the bearings have indeed just been, you know, just destroyed there from all the occlusion, we'll have to put a new fan on the processor as well. So we're also going to do some cable management, obviously to increase airflow throughout the system, just help it breathe a little better. Obviously this is coming from a smoking home. One of the concerns is, is though we always encourage everyone, you know, tell everybody smoking is a bad habit, but it's even worse around machines. Um, we're obviously not going to enact a lifestyle change for this customer just because the inside of the computer is incredibly nasty. Um, it's a habit and, you know, it's a lifelong habit and they're not going to change that just because of that. So what we need to do is we need to accommodate and make sure that the system itself is prepared to survive in that kind of environment. We need to give it the best chance possible by in prepping it for the best amount of airflow that we possibly can um, by doing some cable management, some cleaning, and then uh, make some recommendations about the, the placement of the machine uh, from that point forward. So I wanted to give you, a, you know, you can see at the bottom, <clears throat> turn this, um, you can see just the severity of it here. So what we'll do is we'll uh, go ahead and clean this up. We'll get the whole system cleaned out and prepped, and then we'll do an after to show you guys 
how much better it looks once it's all actually cleaned up properly and ready to go and then uh, uh, go from there. But I just wanted you guys to see just the severe damage that uh, smoking in an, uh, in an enclosed room where you've got the computer does to an actual system. So, thanks for looking. Bye.